Hi friends of the internet, today I'll be sharing with you the simple sewing tutorial of two seam t-shirt. It is so easy, you can even sew it by hand. You can make adjustments to it, make it into a long sleeve, or maybe a t-shirt dress, however you like. So a normal t-shirt has four seams and more than two pattern pieces, whereas a two seam t-shirt obviously has two seams only, and it is so simple you can just draft the pattern onto fabric straight away without making a paper pattern. You can find a PDF guide on our website to help you along the way. Or just write your measurements down on a notebook. Other things you'll need are fabric chalk or fabric pencil, fabric scissors, tape measure, and some fabric obviously some thread and needle or a sewing machine. As for fabric, you're free to use a non-stretch linen fabric or some stretchy fabric like cotton jersey. We also have muslin here which is non-stretch and this is the fabric we'll be using today. So for the measurements later on you will need to do some calculations so feel free to pause the video if you need. Measurement 1 will be hip to hip over the shoulder for t-shirt length. Measurement 2 from bicep to bicep from the back for sleeve length. Measurement 3 will be around the shoulder at armpit for sleeve width. And for measurement 4 it will be chest or bust measurement. Measurement 5 hips measurement 6 neck circumference for collar measurement 7 is the bicep circumference so please do not forget to do the calculations you can also find the formulas on the PDF and in our blog post now get your fabric ready we'll be drawing the pattern straight onto the fabric so if you're using a stretchy fabric make sure that your grain line is going vertical and stretch horizontal and your fabric size needs to be 2 times measurement 1 by measurement 2. Cut that out and fold it in half. For measurement 3, you'll measure down from the fold line to create the sleeve width. Now find the midline from the sleeve width. Take measurement 4 and divide it by 2. Use the midline as a guide and figure out what your t-shirt width is. And connect the dots to the edge of the sleeve. For measurement 5, also divide it by 2. Using the midline as a guide, and figure out the bottom width of the t-shirt and connect those two dots to measurement 4. For measurement 6, you'll also do the same using the midline as a guide. That will be your collar width. The depth of the collar varies from person to person, so the best way is to take a t-shirt you already have and measure from that. Round out the seam underneath the armpits. You can just freehand it like I did here. And once you're happy with your measurements, it's time to cut your fabric free. You may leave seam allowance, but I thought it was unnecessary because it's quite a boxy fit already. And now I'll show you how I cut my collar. So what I'm doing here is measuring 7 centimeters from the fold line and drawing a curve. And then make a little snip at one end and cut the front of the collar. As 
for the back of the collar, you can just freehand it or use another t-shirt as a reference. And here's an overview of what we've done so far. For the last measurement, measurement 7, take that number and measure along the sleeve and connect that dot to the armpit. You can try it on with a basing stitch and if you're happy with it, you can just cut it off. Now take your fabric and fold it right sides together, yes. And here I'm just showing you where your seams will be. Of course you can also hand sew. Here I'm just using a zigzag stitch. And that's the final product. You may hem the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt, but it's optional. And this is a boxy fit with half sleeve. It is so comfortable and very easy to make. And let us know how yours turn out if you ever end up making it. Thanks for your time and have a good day. <laughs>